njroute22.com with our weekly supermarket roundup. Today we have a little bonus with including job lot, Ocean State job lot in our um, lineup because they got some uh, crazy deals. If you're a member of their little plan there, you, it, it's a really good plan. They have uh, crazy deals where you buy something, you get you get money loaded onto your crazy deal card, or you get like a gift card. Like for instance, you get to buy five of these chocolate bars, right? Uh, for 10 bucks and you get a $10 card for free. This is great because you can give these as like stocking stuffers um, to people at the office or your family or whatever. It's just get, like getting them for free practically, especially if you buy other things at uh, Job Lot. And here's another good deal this week. All Bob's Red Mill is 30% off and they already had good prices and they usually get cleaned out pretty quick. And this sale starts Tuesday, uh, I'm sorry, Thursday, October 11th, which was yesterday. Uh, well, depending on when you're watching, but I'm publishing it on njroute22.com on uh, Friday, uh, the 12th. And what else do we have here? Here's some crazy deals that are interesting. You need some like good, uh, just around the house gloves, $10 Wells Lamont gloves for 10 bucks. You get another $10 on your gift card. Um, and here's another thing, uh, this, uh, this folding uh, hand truck. They always have these, they're like 30 bucks, but you get a $20 gift card back. And if you need one, I, I think we're gonna pick one up because ours broke, um, not the one from them, but it was a, I forget where I got it, Home Depot. And here's something interesting that I wanna mention to, into this week's uh, lineup is these pressure cookers. They're all knockoffs of the Instapot, which is already a made in China thing, but this, is uh, go it's going for the knockoff price. Most knockoffs are around 60 bucks. You get a uh, $20 gift card free. It seems like it's a, a direct uh, uh, competitor to the Instapot. It might burn your house down, but that's uh, something that uh, might, um, might interest you. Oh, and I didn't see this here, but they have Himalayan salt night lights. And I like these things because they emit uh, positive ions or negative ions, I forget, the good ions. Um, and lastly, I think on the last page I saw something that was interesting. All this stuff is junk, you don't want to eat that, but <laughs> if you're a little constipated, you can get this Fiber Cal drink. It's a 32 ounce drink. I've never seen it, I have no idea what it is. It could be loaded with junk, but you buy this $10 poopy drink and you get $10 gift card free. So that's what we're talking about this week. You really should look into, uh, they have some regular items that we like picking up uh, there. So that's that. Kings, nothing really to talk about this week. They still, if you're watching this, uh, today is the last day for their um, white cloud, uh, best of class uh, paper towel and toilet paper. You get for $12.99, you get two packs, which is cheaper than shop right now, which is about $13.98 for two packs. Real quick, this always makes me laugh. Cage free eggs. Well, when I pick them up at the supermarket, they're not in a cage, they're in a freaking cooler. I, I don't know, we only shop here when it's absolutely necessary or when they have deals that are actually very good. And we gotta stop and shop this week. We don't really like them too much anymore, especially when we learned how big this corporation is and, and, and you could tell that they're just out of touch. And they seem to be more in touch with like Google and Apple and, and sponsors and, and like, like promotions with Hollywood movies and sports that nobody watches anymore. Um, but I have to say the stop and shops we visited in Massachusetts were much nicer uh, compared to the ones here in New Jersey. So maybe there's something to do with regional ma management and sub-management. But I'm just gonna point out a couple things here that I, I scanned through this really quickly. And it's all about football, football, football. I mean, I, is, who, who is their major uh, uh, customer, men? I mean, I, I really don't understand this too much. Um, but there was some, some something in here that I pointed out and I, I don't know, their ads are very well done, but since we're not regular shoppers here, even though there are some that are convenient, I think most people that shop here do it solely because it's the closest supermarket to their house. But they have a good deal this week on Noosa yogurt. That's a, that's a good deal. It's usually like three or three or more dollars a, a pack. There you get two for four. Um, And there was really nothing else uh, I really liked at uh, Stop and Shop. Although, yeah, they, they had a pretty decent deal. I mean, we don't eat, I don't eat carbs, but my family likes these Cascadian Farm cereals and they're buy two, get one free. You gotta do the math to make sure it works out in your favor. But it sounds like an okay deal. 
Uh, that's it. And they have all this junk candy, you know. Nah, I'm not a big fan of Stop and Shop. So let's, let's head over to ShopRite. We didn't get our Bishops ad this week for some reason. The IGA of Bishops, and there's one in Pennington, New Jersey, far south of the njroot22.com area. But they got some uh, interesting things to talk about this week. First thing I'm going to mention is that they got my favorite cheese on sale for a buck forty-nine again. That's uh, that's a no-brainer. It's always reliable. Um, I've had other ch store brand cheeses at some other stores, which I won't mention here, that were a little tainted. Um, and they also have a very good deal on ShopRite bacon. It's $2.99 a pound. That is uh, below our $3.99 max we pay. However, watch out for salt. They all have regular salt, not sea salt. So that's something to, the only brand that we like, other than Oscar Mayer, I think there's this uncured version that it's only 12 ounces and it has sea salt in it is the Hormel low sodium is the number one favorite bacon in this house at the moment. Next thing is they have this coupon here uh, at ShopRite and you gotta watch out for something. This is something that's been corrupted. This right here, cauliflower pizza. Beware, this is not cauliflower pizza. To make real cauliflower pizza, you just use cheese and cauliflower and an egg and you bake the crust and it's like almost zero carbs. This cauliflower pizza is has rice flour in it. It's if the, the same, if not more carbs than a regular pizza. So don't, don't waste your time with this. It, just don't, please. You gotta read into it. Here's something I don't like is Clayton's Organic Beef. I don't care how cheap it is per pound. It's an Australian product and to me it tastes gamey. I mean, it's coming on a, tr on a big boat. It takes like a month to get here from, uh, from Australia. I have no idea. And here's something I might look into. It's this Nasoya Shirataki noodles. It's called, they call them pasta zero. I think they're zero carbs. Um, either that or zero gluten. I have no idea, but um, I'm gonna look into it. And here's something I would recommend against. This is another one of these brand name. You, you remember having a good Panera soup. Oh, it was so good, yeah. I think they just put uh, some chemicals in there to make it addictive. And now they're trying to, maybe they've long been taking advantage of uh, people at, with the brand name. I, I wouldn't buy that crap. It's mass produced by some robot that doesn't know you or care about you. Robot, I mean like an assembly line where the, where all the ingredients go into a cup. They don't, I don't even, <laughs> Nothing on this page attracts me. Uh, I got some okay deals on cheese. You can get it cheaper sometimes for a buck ninety-nine. Again, like the the more package it is, the the less uh, I like it. And I, yeah, I contradict myself with the bacon, but bacon is is it, it gets a little pass. And what else was there here at Shoprite this week? Oh. I find this fascinating. They give you this whole big flow chart here of ways to save 30 bucks. And you know, you buy $25 worth of these five, six items, 25 of these five items, $25 worth of these five items, and you get $5 on uh, your next shopping order. It equates to 20% uh, or less uh, rebate. Um, and you have to buy them all at once. But who needs, I don't need, I mean, maybe I would buy that. These are penalty paper towels. I'm not going to buy $25 worth. I might buy these. This, by the way, the strong is always better than the soft. You get like 20% more paper product. I'd rather have more paper. And it's, none of this is rough as sandpaper. So, And I wouldn't buy any of this other stuff. So this, like, my question is, do you need all these other things just to save a few nickels over here, you know? I don't like it. I'm not a big fan. And here's another thing that I want to point out. This may be a good deal, these Charmins, if you, if you really are low on paper towels and, and toilet paper and I wouldn't recommend that detergent, but whatever. Uh, one thing to point out, I think I've mentioned this before, always buy full sheet instead of select the size. The select the size, they always give you less square feet in the pack just because you want to rip it in half. You're not really saving, you can always rip a full sheet, it doesn't take that much. And here we go, I'm gonna talk about the, the crock pot again. This is the crock pot knockoff version of the Instapot. It's 59 bucks, but no gift card. So I have no idea which pressure cook is. It's a big trend now these days. People just throw something in there and it cooks it really fast because it's under high pressure. Uh, I might try it because I wanna see if I can cook like a pot roast or something really quick and if it, it's like tender and falls off like, like a pulled pork. 
I might try, but I, I'm not sure I want to. It's just another appliance that'll collect dust in the basement. And, and I'm gonna show you these. See these uh, Energizer Extra Life batteries? They're not the best batteries, but for $1.49 for a dozen, that's a really, really good price. Um, and for kids' toys or whatever, it's something dinky or throwaway, it's, it's not bad to have around as a backup. I still recommend nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. You get like 500 or 1,000 or 2,000 charges. You just gotta be diligent in keeping them charged. Those are the best value, period. But you, you know, they wear out after a few hundred charges. So, and I think that's it. That's all the advice I can give you guys today. And I don't even think I even have anything on the back today with the fruit and vegetables because we've been kind of, I've been eating red meat alone um, and I feel great. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys have a nice uh, weekend and hopefully I provided some value this week.